The COVID-19 pandemic has affected Kenya's food systems directly through impacts on food supply and demand and indirectly through decreased capacity to produce and distribute food. In response to that, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives is addressing food supply chain and nutrition challenges through the establishment of one million kitchen gardens in rural and urban households. Through these one million kitchen gardens, the ministry is contributing to the Big Four agenda on the 100% food and nutrition security by enabling households to maintain a healthy diet. The ministry is supporting vulnerable households with kitchen garden starter kits that are simple, space and water efficient. So far, the first phase of the project has supported over 200,000 households through the KSAP, NARIC and CVAP projects. In phase two, the ministry will support an additional 200,000 vulnerable households in setting up their own kitchen gardens. We are here today at uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, Kilimo House, uh, we, where we have the model uh, kitchen garden uh, demonstration site, where we set up all the technologies that uh, all households are able to adapt to, to be able to give them not only knowledge, but also be able to you know, give them the instructions, you know, step-by-step -step guidance on how to set up these gardens. There are several incredible ideas through which one can establish a simple, space and water efficient kitchen garden using locally available materials. They include the corn garden, the multi-story garden, the micro garden, tire garden, moist bed garden, the weak irrigation garden and the simple drip irrigation garden. In this video, we will look at how you can establish a tire kitchen garden. Tire kitchen gardens are becoming a popular method of farming technology and recycling. They can accommodate a variety of crops, either deep-rooted or shallow-rooted depending on the tire size. They can also be designed into different shapes, heights, sizes and colors according to one's creativity. In case you want to plant root crops, you will need a double tire garden whereby you will place a tire on top of another. Tires can also be used to construct a multi-story garden. So to establish a tire garden, you have to site the site where you want to establish the tire garden. It should not be in a shed and then the site should be flat and tire gardens can be constructed in anywhere where even if the land is not productive, you can still produ produce there a tire garden. So when you want to construct the tire garden, you will get the tire itself, the one you want to use, and then you will cut off the top of the tire so that it opens to give you more space, thus it will give you more, the population of the plants will now be high. Once you've cut the tire, Let's say now you are constructing a single tire. You've cut the tire open. You can now decide if you want to paint it or you don't want to paint it. It is optional, but painting makes it look beautiful, especially if you are using it as a landscaping site for you. So you can paint it with the colors that you like. And then after painting, you cut a polythene sheet, put at the center of the tire garden, the one before you put the soil. And also for the one on the tire garden that you put on the ground, it is optional, you can put the polythene or you don't put, but if you are planting on a veranda, you have to put the polythene so, as, so that it doesn't dirtify the veranda. Once you put the polythene inside, you pour the soil, which is at a mixture of one to one, manure one and stop soil one. After you pour the soil and fill to the brim, you will water the tire, that is for the single tire garden, and then after watering, you will now plant the seedlings that you want or the seeds that you, you want.
single tire garden is very good for vegetables and then the the simple fruits like strawberries. So you can plant there any vegetable. It can be cabbage, it can be kale, it can be local vegetables. The single tire garden is okay. Now, if you want to plant root crops, especially root crops like arrow roots, you will need a double tire garden. That means you will put two tires, one on the ground and another one on top of the one on the ground. Once you put the two tires, and both tires should be cut from the top. So uh, put the soil, and then you plant the, the arrow roots. And then there's another tire garden you, you can do also. It's called a story tire garden. And for a story tire garden, you will require a number of tires. And the tires, you have to make for them a platform where they'll be sitting on for you to plant your vegetables. The story tire garden, you start by the measurement on the ground. You get the place where you want to put your story tire garden. And then you get to the center. You put the pole that is the first thing you do you put the pole you have to make sure the pole is strong enough because it will hold a number of tires that are having soil so you put the pole after you secured the pole with cement we we like you to secure it with cement so that to make it more strong and firm and then you put your first tire which is the bigger tire because we don't we don't like using the the very big tires on top because of the the platform, it can easily collapse. But if you have a strong platform, you can still continue with big tires. So you start with your tire on the ground that is opened on one side. The big tire should be on the ground. And you'll put the big tire once you've put the post. So the tire, you'll enter it from the top, from the top of the post. You get the tire to the ground. Once you've gotten the tire to the ground, you will make now the platform for the next tire. So depending on what you want to, to grow, you will space depending on the next tire, depending on what you want to grow. So like us, since we are growing spices, for the spacing down, like this one, although it's already planted, we have one foot, like this is around 45 centimeters up to the soil. And then there is also space inside, like another 20 cent centimeters. So it's around two feet from the ground. So once you, you make the pole two feet from the ground, you are putting your next, your next platform for the tire you want to put. Because we'll be measuring this before you put the soil. So you'll measure from the ground. So it will be two feet from the ground, you put your next platform. Now, depending on the vegetable you want to, to, to grow, it is very important that if you have vegetables that are too long and that might be affected by this, you can increase the spacing a bit. But two feet, it is okay. And then, now you make your platform. When you feel you want a, a twin tire, you will, you will, from one tire, a story garden, to another one, you will measure one meter apart. They can be on the same, li on the same line, but one, one meter apart. So once you've secured the post for the second tire, now the first tire will not start on the ground. So they give each other space for the crops to grow. The first tire, now it will start in the middle of the second tire on the other one and the, the second tire and the first tire on the first post you will put it inside and we, sh we shall put them inside through the hole up and then you'll make a platform now you see the tire that you put on the second on the second twin, on the second garden so they are spacing the in the the in the in the in the twin that is when it like this one and this one, this one comes in the middle, this one will come in the middle of this one and this one, and this one now, the top one will be a little bit high. That's why we said three are good, you can't do four tires, it will go too high. So if you want the third tire now, now the first tire for the third tire, it will be one meter away, the post, but now the third tire, the first tire will start from the ground. So you keep on alternating the tire so that the crop has space to, to grow. And you can grow a variety of vegetables on the tire. You can choose to grow the same vegetable or you can choose to grow different vegetables for each tire. Our appeal to the viewers that may be watching this is, you know, see something and implement. This is how we collectively contribute to food and nutrition security when each and every household is able to produce safe food within the confines of their homes.
from this tutorial, it is our hope that you will be able to establish your own kitchen garden and enjoy a constant supply of fresh, nutritious vegetables, fruits and spices for you and your family. In case you need more information, kindly log on to www.kilimo.go.ke.